Hey guys, what's up? So I, it's nine o'clock at night. I wanted to just play around with some makeup and I'm not liking this look with this look. I look, but it is what it is. I just wanted to play around with some makeup. But anyways, in preparation for my summer declutter, I decluttered my six pan palettes because I'm decluttering my whole collection in about two weeks. So I thought it'd be cool to do my five pans and I need to declutter my five pans because I keep them in this little container that um, Brandon's mom got me for Christmas a few years ago. So I need, it doesn't shut, so I need to declutter something. I have a weird connection to these, so I have a feeling it's going to be super duper hard, but I have a banana powder on. Yes, I understand my under eyes is darker than my face. I'm getting rid of it. It's a thing. But anyways, I have four of the Catrice 5 in boxes. So let's go ahead and talk about them. I have Modern Smoky Look. I really enjoy these. I know that people say that they were supposed to be Natasha Denona dupes, and they maybe are. Um, I don't think quality-wise they are Natasha Denona dupes, but quality for Catrice that's so nice for a smoky eye, and I'm wearing Pat McGrath, just so you guys know. I'm not wearing this palette or anything. I'm wearing Pat McGrath. Um, I really like this. I'm going to keep it because I have enjoyed using these. I was totally feeling that liquid lipstick when I put it on, but I took it off because I was looking in the monitor, like in my camera, and I was like, I feel like I look like a clown with this lipstick on, so I took it off. All right, so let's talk about this Catrice palette. This is the Warm Spice Look one, and just for reference, this is a Natasha Denona little mini palette, in case you guys are curious. So they definitely are very, very similar. So let me go ahead and swatch these for you guys. This is obviously a very, very warm tone palette, so you are going to get a warm tone look, but still very nice quality. These wear nice for the price. They wear well. They're really pretty. I'm going to keep this one too because I can see myself reaching into this when I want a warm look. I'm just not ready to part ways with some of these palettes and that is okay because this is my collection. But anyways, we're going to be talking about the Catrice Golden Nude Look. So funny fact, I did a Catrice order earlier this year, but this one was actually sold out. So I ordered the other five. I bought this was like I already said I was gonna do Catrice this month, so I just was like I'll just check it out later. And they actually had released some products a couple months later, and this it came back in stock. So I snatched that shit up when I ordered some more products. And Catrice is really hitting it since leaving Ulta. Like. They honestly have a great formula for products for the price. Now the bigger pans, the bigger palettes, I've never tried, but this is good for the price. This is honestly a very neutral look, but I still love it. I haven't had this one as long as the other ones though, so I am going to keep this just because I am still testing this particular one out. Okay, and the final Catrice Fiber Box is the Soft Rose look, and this is probably my favorite one because of this pink dusty rose matte. It's so pretty and so unique and I honestly don't have anything like this in my collection. Um, I used to really be into pink tone looks. I left that for cool tones and now I'm getting into warm tone looks honestly. But I wore this so much when I was into those pink tone looks. I mean this is honestly so super gorgeous. I don't think I can ever declutter this just because I love this so much. So I might declutter the other Catrice palettes in future declutters, but this one I feel like it's always going to stay. Okay, next I have six of these Wet Mild 5 pants. I honestly can see myself getting rid of most of these. I just... I don't know. We're going to go ahead and start with the My Lucky Charm one. I just don't think that these are really great curated palettes, and I don't feel like this is a good formula. I mean, like, there's one matte, and the rest are all shimmers. When I'm thinking of a five pan, I'm thinking of a palette I can do a full look with, with just that five pan palette. And, like I said, I don't think that this is a good formula, honestly. I mean, my eye in this palette goes straight to that green, and look at that. I feel like I have a better green in the Natasha Denona Mini Metropolis palette in the back. This is my Natasha Denona Mini Metropolis palette. It's going to come up when I 
to let my mini Natasha dinner in the palettes because I am maybe decluttering. This is the Jubilee shade. We are going to show it next to. Do you see how much that? It's literally the exact same shade of green, but it's so much punchier than the Wet n Wild one. So I'm going to declutter my Lucky Charm. I just want to say I'm decluttering my Lucky Charm because the standout color in this palette is that green, and the Natasha Janona is the same green, and Natasha's is so much better. So that is why that is getting decluttered. Let's do this one. So this is Camel Font. It has two mattes and the glittery shades and the shimmer. So I feel like this one has a place in my collection because I actually remember when I used this last, really liking the look. So I do think this I don't know. See, I'm looking at it and I'm like, I'm, okay, I will keep it for now. If I'm still feeling this way in my third declutter, which I think I'm gonna do in the fall, or declutter it. I don't wanna declutter any of my five pants to be honest, but I need to, so this is why we're doing this. This is the shade Go Commando. And again, it has the two mattes and the three shimmers, which I personally like a lot better. So here we go. This is a very, very warm tone palette. And those two mattes are super duper nice. Yeah, see, this is a palette I feel confident enough to do a full look with just with this. So I think I'm going to keep this one because of the two mattes. Okay, so this was one of my strong disappointments this month. And this is the Five Pan and Penalette. I had a lot of trouble with this palette. It's another four shimmer, one matte. And because I actually wrote this down for a monthly disappointments, I think I'm going to declutter it. Even though it really swatches nicely, it was, I remember not having a good experience last time I wore it, so much so that it prompted me to put it in my monthly disappointments. So decluttering this. I have a bad feeling I'm not decluttering many from this five pink collection. We're gonna hope. Next is Sun Days. This is another warm tone. It's got the two matte. Actually, you know what? Let me get this other one out. Here it is. Go Commando, right? That was the one, right? They are super similar, aren't they? I want to swatch these next to each other. Here, I'm gonna do the two mattes. Because I don't feel like I need both. I don't feel like I need both. So... Okay, I think Sundays is a little bit lighter. Uh, like, honestly, it looks like they have a lot of similar shades. Like, it literally looks like the shimmers are the same. Are the shimmers the same? I think they are. Oh my god. Okay, so I think that the well, Commando one is pinkier and the Sundays one is older. But they really look so similar. Okay, I'm thinking these two aren't going to be super duper similar. No, they're not. So that's from Go Commando and that's from Sundays. So maybe these aren't similar, but they do look similar. That is the, I just swatched that. That is the problem I'm having is that they look so similar. Okay, from Go Commando and Sundays. Oh my God, they look so similar. Like, they look so similar. They look so similar. I'm gonna declutter Sundays and keep Go Commando just because I feel like Sundays is a little lighter, a little less pigmented, and I prefer more pigments. Next is the iconic Walking on Eggshells palette. I have this in the trio, the quad, and the five pan now. I don't remember having a good experience wearing this one either, but I might keep this just for nostalgic purposes. 
themselves. Yeah, I am going to keep this because it is swatching nice, at least nicer than other palettes. So I'm going to keep this. Okay, next are my ColourPop palettes. So I have five, six, seven ColourPop palettes. I don't know if I can declutter any of these, honestly. So I have the Make It Fearless little five pan. This is honestly so nice. This was the first five pan I got from ColourPop. It was during the COVID where they had like the Make It Black like supporting thing and I love that. And the colors on this are so nice. I'm going to keep this because I love this colorful palette, even though it's a little crazy. Me to be honest, this is a palette I feel like I can declutter in the future, but I'm personally just not ready to part ways with it. And I need a water break. I'm going to eat some of my salad after this. So this is the Too Hot palette from ColourPop. I just don't know about this. I feel like... Do I have pinks like this in my collection? Because I have two pink palettes from Natasha Denona that I'm pretty sure I'm planning to keep. So like, do I really need all three of these? No, I don't think I do. Even though the Colourpop one is pretty duper vibrant. Ugh. You know something? I might not be ready to part ways with this. I don't think I am, honestly because I'm trying out some other five pan, like I'm literally about to order the statement piece five pan from Colourpop at Ulta next month. And it is really pretty and I do love pinks. So I'm gonna keep this. I know I need to declutter my five pans, but for some reason I am not able to. I was very, very ruthless with my six pans. Like I cut them in half. Um, so I know I'm able to do it. But anyways, this is Cherish. Maybe. I'll declutter one of these because I don't remember having good experiences with these. I don't know. This is sold out at Colourpop though, but I could get it individually if I missed it really. I'm just, I'm not ready to part ways with these, I don't think. So I'll swash them for you guys, but I don't think I'm going to get rid of these. I love digging into these palettes, which is kind of like if it invokes an emotion in me and it gives me creativity, then that's why I want to keep this. So this is the Crush palette. A little bit more bronzy. Obviously, you can see mine are kind of like a little shattered. Um, I don't think I can get rid of this one either, honestly, because it's not as bronzy as what I was thinking it would be, but it's still so nice. By the way, I exfoliated my arms when I took a shower, so I think that that's why the pigment is still sticking to them, but this is a really pretty color story. I for some reason keep pointing this a more one out, and I'm like, I feel like this is one I could declutter, maybe. Ooh. Purple tones. See, I do have quite a few purple tones in these two Natasha Denona palettes. I have the mini Lila, and I have purples in this palette. Uh, uh, this is one that I just don't look forward to using for some reason. Why don't I look forward to using this? Is it because of that glitter? I have not been liking glitters lately, and I don't know why. But that sh they're still really pretty. I think I'm going to keep them for now, and if I have that same feeling in my fall declutter, I will get rid of this. I really want my salad. So this is the Lyric palette. Like I said, I didn't think I was going to declutter these. I gave myself a little bit of hope, but this is another one I feel like after some more use, I could declutter. Because I don't, I also don't feel like I've gotten enough use out of these to justify them, because they're honestly barely used. I try not to declutter a product I barely use because of my YouTube channel. You know? Yeah, this is another one I feel like I can declutter in the future because I'm not loving this color story. 
So we have three palettes in here that are literally in my maybe piles that I'm literally like in a few months after some more use, I can declutter these. I would feel comfortable decluttering these. But next is the Ballot palette. I remember being disappointed in this. And I was the most excited for this one. And I don't know why, because this looks gorgeous to me. Why do I remember being disappointed in this? Maybe it's because of the one matte. It's gotta be the one matte. And then two sequin shades? Like, why didn't you just put a matte black in here and a matte gray? I feel like that would have been better. But I'm still loving these cool tones. I'm still gonna use a color story like this. And I did declutter my Naked 2 Basics, so I would rather have this over the Naked 2 Basics, so I'm gonna keep this. Okay, next are my mini Natasha Denona palettes. I have five, so let's go ahead. I can guarantee you I'm not gonna declutter any of these because I just got into Natasha Denona this year. However, I've already looked at these and made up my mind of, I think that with a little bit more use, I would feel comfortable decluttering these. So this is the Natasha Denona Mini Tropic Palette. I want to get the Big Tropic Palette and just declutter this because I don't reach the color, these colors, and the Tropic Palette has this as the bottom row, and then the two middle rows are, or the, the middle row and the top row are all neutrals, and I feel like I would get more use out of the Big Tropic Palette. I also got this on sale for $20. I just, and this blue is so... Like, I'm digging in there to get this. <sighs> Ooh, that's so agitating. I mean, it is a pretty palette. That blue is disappointing, though. And so is that matte purple. Yeah, I feel like I could declutter this in fall. I might fall declutter. See, I know for a fact if I had the Big Tropic palette, I would declutter the Mini Tropic. This is the Mini Metropolis palette. I talked about it earlier in the video, just watching it next to My Lucky Charm. I am not the biggest fan of this palette, but in terms of greens, I would rather have that green. That is the mean. I want to get the big Metropolis palette. I just discovered this brand called Alter Ego that apparently dupes Natasha and Denona palettes, and I'm about to order every freaking palette that they have. Like, what? Like, does Natasha Denona have an Alter Ego where she owns this brand and she dupes her palettes? Because that'd be awesome. This is the Mini Leela palette. This is another one of those palettes that I feel could be decluttered in my fall because I don't feel like I would miss this palette just because I'm not really a fan of this color story and I do have the big Leela and I do love the big Leela although I do believe I am a lucky one where my my colors my formulation is not that bad honestly and I do think that this is a very very unique shade but for some reason it looks a lot like the Blitz Amethyst shade and the Pet uh, Pat McGrath Mothership 3, so I am going to compare those when I get the Mothership 3 this month in the mail, I'm waiting for that, so I am going to compare that to that, and like I said, I might declutter this in the fall. Next, let's talk about the Mini Love palette. This is amazing, a lot of people's favorite palette, um, mini palette. I have the big, the midi size Love palette, I think they're both amazing. This is a nice palette that I love reaching into. When I'm into those pink tones, just like that soft rose palette from Catrice, that is a good alternative to something like this if you want something, in my opinion, a little bit more wearable than this, but this is so beautiful. I love it so much. I'm not decluttering it. This is another one. I probably don't need this and the Mini Love, but I'm a hoarder and I'm okay with it. This is the Mini Crush palette from Natasha Denona. It was the kit this year for Valentine's Day. I keep it legit for this daisy shade. It's so pretty and so unique. I'm not a fan of any other shade in this palette, to be honest. Um, I have? Okay. Look at that. Like, come on. Natasha needs to come out with her Safari palette again, by the way. I would totally buy that. But yeah, this is the Mini Crush palette. Amazing and gorgeous really want to swatch this daisy shade next to a shimmer in my Rare Beauty palette, my Magnetic Spirit palette, because there is a shimmer that's kind of very similar to it. I feel like I've already done that though, I don't know why. 
Anyways, this is the Natasha Denona Palette 5. I got this during the Sephora VAB sale, and it was also on sale. I think she is de discontinuing these, and I don't know why exactly. I mean, this color store is a little weird, to say the least. I had to call them, sorry. I didn't want to call them on camera. I mean, pretty. Those two shades I never ever... Like, I don't look into those two shades. So literally this dark purple, this very stunning color I've used for a cut crease, and then this matte purple that I've used in the cut crease. So I literally just go for these two shades, to be honest. But I'm not decluttering this just because I haven't had enough time with it to declutter it. And finally is a palette you're going to have to pull pride from my gold dead hands and that is the camera palette this is so stunning so beautiful so gorgeous i got this on mel thompson's recommendation and i'm so glad i did i paid 50 dollars for this she did drop her prices on these two dollars so you can get it for 48 dollars get it cheaper than me this is so stunning i honestly recommend this to any neutral makeup lover who just wants like neutral, like an everyday palette this is a palette that is going to be gorgeous for everyday wear and it's going to last you forever and it's a great quality because it's that Natasha Denona quality I and mean, you look at that gorgeousness. So pretty. This is never leaving my collection ever. So out of all of these, I only did end up decluttering it three palettes, but I'm okay with that because I think I can shut this down. Okay, so I did accomplish my goal, but I was more cutthroat with my six pans and I'm sure I'm going to be more cutthroat with my four pans because I'm pretty sure I know what I'm decluttering and what I'm keeping in my four pans. And my trios, I haven't worn those recently, so I need to wear those before I declutter, or I don't want to declutter through it. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this outcome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, so of course like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell, all that social media great stuff, and if you enjoy declutters, I have a bunch of declutters coming back to back to back to back. I'm doing, again, my four pans will be next in my declutter series. My three pans are coming, and then I am fully decluttering my whole collection. And again, this is spamming out weeks for me, but it's going to be multiple videos in a row for you guys. So if you enjoy declutters, I enjoy decluttering my giant makeup collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please don't tell me I look like a clown because I realize I did, and I'm sad about it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.